Are you thinking of playing a Bleed Bow Gladiator or Corrupted Blood? If you are in this one, I'm going to show you the best skills to get through Act 1 with. Hello everyone, you're watching Altec 2K Gaming. Yesterday I asked in a survey, what should I play for League Start? And you said Corrupting Fever, Bleed Bow Gladiator. My concern with this is it feels absolutely woeful to level. And as it's a bleed build, you could probably call it anemic. So I set to work trying this out with five different characters using different skills. And let's talk about the skill combinations that felt really good. But first, to reduce the tension on an early game currency, you probably want to mule a ranger. This allows you to get Caustic Arrow from the Enemy at the Gate quest, and Pierce Drops in the Twilight Strand. It also gives you three scrolls of Wisdom Extra, which you can use to try and get a three link, although I failed completely. You should also look for a pair of runner boots just in case you have the currency left over, and if you don't, just stash it all waiting for your next character, which will be the duelist. My duelist was pretty jammy and managed to drop a pair of movement speed boots by killing Hillock. I then used the two-link bow from the ranger to equip both Caustic Arrow and Pierce. Once you survived the mudflats, or occasionally died in the mudflats, but got through anyway, go and kill Hillwick to get the Mercy Mission quest, and then head back to town. For the quest reward of the Mercy Mission, we're going to pick up Volley. And for breaking some eggs, we're going to get a Puncture. I then equip as my main link once I get a three link, Puncture, Volley and Pierce. Once you've utterly destroyed Brutus in the prison by hitting him constantly with both Puncture and Caustic Arrow, we then head back to town and choose a Life Tap for the reward for killing Brutus. In addition, we can also now buy Ballista Totem from Nessa, also for the same quest, which is Caged Brute. Note that you should now have Master of the Arena, and Art of the Gladiator. At this point, switch out Pierce for Life Tap, and if you can find a chest that's either green, 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 or green, green, red, then pick it up, because Art of the Gladiator allows us to use it without the movement penalty associated with armor. For your second three link, we'll be using a Ballista Totem, Caustic Arrow, and Volley. We should also pick up the Precision Aura from Nessa to give us some critical strike and accuracy. As you run through Act 1, you may be lucky enough to drop the Quivery that you want, which in this case is going to be Shark Tooth for the life gained on hit. This will make it much, much easier to sustain your Puncture, because Life Tap uses your life to fire it. The bonus of using life to fire it is that you no longer rely heavily on mana, and you pay the price with your blood. Quite literally. The Shark Tooth Quiver will really help you stay alive. If you haven't got one, then you'll have to use a Life Flask frequently. You are in luck here, because the buff given by Life Tap, which is called Life Tap, gives you your Flask Recover increased amounts of life. As I say, I tried multiple different skills to get through. All of them feel pretty woeful, including this one, but this one is nowhere near as bad. I hope this guide's been of use. If it has, then please consider tickling the like button or subscribing. And with that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.